Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Custom Style. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can uh, make a um, how you can make a uh, line trace or ray cast in Unreal Engine. So basically, when I click my mouse button, we're going to find an actor in front of me. We're going to see if we can find an actor, and then yeah, that's basically all we're going to do. So to get started. Uh, first thing you're going to do is, well at least for me I'm going to do this in my third person character because I have a third person character map made up here. So I'll open up this and yeah just go new area and we're going to do left mouse button because when I click left mouse button that's the event we want to trigger all this stuff on and uh, actually to get the ray cast we got to do some other uh, things so first of all we have to we have to get a start and end location right so the start location is going to be get actor location so the location I'm at right now is where we're going to start the ray cast and then where we're going to end is going to be the current location plus and it's going to be um, some other values we get over here so we're just going to add another vector and we're going to um, get the actor rotation get actor rotation like this and then from there we're going to get forward vector and then from there we're going to multiply that by um, uh, I believe integer or you can do uh, yeah if I can find the uh, I'm gonna do a flow actually, and then just um, this is gonna be the distance we raycast for. Also, it's a 1,500 for now. That's just a test, and hook that up here. And so this value right here is our start location, and this is our end location because this value right here is gonna get us our uh, plus this is going to get our end location which will be directly in front of our character going in a certain direction wherever the character is looking and this is the current location so we're going to make a line from our current location to where the direction they're looking in in, in um, 1500 and see what objects we find right so from there we're going to do uh, on the left mouse button um, line trace whoops, for objects and yeah, as I said, this is the start location, and this is the end location. Then from here, we want to um, what do we want to do? Uh, break hit results, I believe. Actually, no. Yes, that's actually what we want. okay. Break hit results, and now we got all these results, right? We could, and you could use any of these, right? Um, and actually, the no another thing I forgot to say. We have to put in this variable here, object type, so it's going to look for a certain type of object, right? Let's so look for whatever we want. So I'll call this object type. Of course, I made this a variable because um, I don't believe there's any other way to do it. I don't know. That's how I do it. Um, compile this, and then... Um, oh, yeah, because it wants me to add things here. So... I'm just gonna do world static for now, um, but you can do it like it just searches for one of these, or you can add multiple by doing that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get the um, the hit actor, I believe. Yep, and we're going to um, to string, and then we can print this. And then do that. And now I believe if we were to go over here. We get some objects, right? We get the object we're looking at. And yeah. Sometimes it's none, but if we find something, it'll be something. So that's the idea. Now, let's say you wanted to just, um, you were looking for a specific actor, right? Um, what you could do is you could look for a substring, 
and then see if it's at equal to this. So right here, we can um, find substring. And the substring, let's say we're looking for none, just for example, but for here you put in your actor name or whatever you're looking for, like if you had an actor that you only want, like you wanted to find just that actor, nothing else, you put it in here. So I'll say um, none, and this would just be if it doesn't hit anything. Um, and yeah, then from here we're going to get an equals to because this is going to give us a, um, a number. If it's equal to zero, that means that it, um, it found the substring with none in it. So yeah, we can just leave that as zero. And then over here, we'll do a branch. And then only if true, we can continue, right? Um, so I'll do the print string here. And I know that this is going to be none, but just to prove that to you, I'll do this. So, because obviously this has to be equal to none, or at least has to find none in the thing for it to go through to here. So I think this should work too. So if I go up here, yep, it finds none, but if I look at something else, it doesn't find it. If I look up here, and now if I wanted to make, like, let's say I made another actor right here called, um, yeah test right and then we open up this and we just make like a big cube or something and go like this just quickly do that that just is just just to show you right and I put it right here and then over here in the thing where we're looking for let's say instead of looking for none we look for a test now it should only trigger that print string if I, if it finds test. So if I'm clicking over here, nothing happens. If I look at this and press, uh, nothing happens either. I think that might be because we'll need to change this to uh, maybe. Don't know. Yep, there we go. See, test. And that's the reason you want to do a substring instead of just a um, is it equal to test? You see underscore two. So if I have multiple of these in here, we want it to be any. We want it to be uh, just if it finds one that has test in it, not if it's test underscore two or whatever, right? So that's the idea. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Make sure to leave a like and all that stuff. That's just some examples of how you can do some ray casting or line tracing in Unreal Engine. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Or, yeah, basically, that's all. Bye.